Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video we will see how to make HTTP REST API calls and test the REST services using Citrus integration testing framework. To test HTTP REST APIs, we have a dependency on Citrus HTTP and we have to add the following in the Citrus context.xml. So in the Eclipse, if you would see when we created the project for the first time, if you go to SRC test resources, citrus context.xml, you would see we already have the citrus HTTP namespace added and if you go to pom.xml, you would see we already have the citrus HTTP dependency added. So the project that we have already created, it already has the HTTP dependency added and the namespace for the same. Let's see how we can configure Citrus HTTP to communicate with the REST API. I have a REST API already created. So if you would see customer resource over here, uh, it basically accepts from the slash customers URL. And if it's just default, it returns a message, hello from customer resource. You can query for a particular ID. It has right now just two customers. I don't have a database integration or anything with this Spring Boot project. It's just a simple Spring Boot project. And when you say slash customers slash, it returns all the customers. It has a post mapping. It has a delete mapping. So we will be seeing how to test the get, post and delete. In this video, we will cover about how to configure for Citrus HTTP to make REST API calls. And we'll be making a get call to get customers. Next video, we will cover how to make request for post and delete. And we will also see the various ways of configuration in Citrus. Now, if I open the browser, you would see localhost 8080 slash customers slash. I already have it running. My application is up and running and it displays two objects with CID 1 and 2 and the values for the same. Let's see if we are able to fetch the same data making a Citrus HTTP REST API call. So to do that, we already have a Citrus HTTP namespace. So just let's use that. So we'll say Citrus HTTP client. We provide a ID. So suppose I say customer client. We need to specify the request URL. So I can say request URL in my case is HTTP localhost 8080 slash customers. Fine. Now let's go ahead and create a class. So I'll say right click new class sample HTTP REST demo. We'll say again extends the designer and I will be creating a Citrus test case. So let me just use Citrus test ng annotations. And then we have the at citrus test and let me say public void test get all customers. Right. So to test, we will need a HTTP client ID. If you remember, we have already created an ID that is customer client. We need to get access to this particular value. So in spring, we do use the at auto wired annotation. So we'll be doing the same. So I'll say at auto wired HTTP client and the customer client reference. Now to make a request when we have the test ng designer, it provides with the HTTP method. With this, I can say it acts as a client. I'm making a request to the client that is a customer client. I have to first send the request. So I'll say send the request and make a get request to slash. So if you would see over here, I'm just saying slash customers. But if you notice carefully on my browser, the request goes to customers and slash. If I remove the slash, you would see it just prints a string. So we want to actually make a request to get all customers. Hence, this makes request to the root URL. Within that, I need to make a request to the get slash. Once I send a request, then I need to receive the request and test it. Client from this customer client, now I have received the res request and let me check the response and I will be saying 
HTTP status and let's just check if we get the response as OK status or not. Let's run and see. Okay, so the test fails, it says resource access exception, it's a spelling mistake. So it has to be local host. Let's run again and see. So test passes, you would see it makes a request and yes, we have a valid header that is success 200 and can you see over here the payload. So let's extract this payload. So to do that here, I can say dot. If I want to validate, I can use the validate function. The path that we use with JSON is dollar. If you remember, we had seen this in the variables demo. I'll provide the link for the same in the description. And let me say I want to validate for size. So we have the Hamcrest matches that is has size of two because if you would see there are two objects that's returning. Let me import this. So I'll say import static org.hamcrest.matches.star okay so i have imported the hamcrest matches and has size 2 you want to extract the payload so i can say dot extract from payload we have the path which is dollar and i want to store it in a variable so let me say i'll create a variable response and let's echo that. So I'll say echo dollar curly brace response. Fine. Now let's run and see does it echoes the response that we get from the payload. So the test passes and let's see. Yes, can you see? We got the two values that is name, a CID1 and CID2 and yes, the test passes. So we just have to configure in the citrus context.xml for the URL and then using the HTTP method, we can just make a call, we can send the request and when we receive it, we can actually validate and also extract the data. With this, we come to an end of this video. Happy learning, take care and bye-bye.